Welcome back to the second half of the show. We're going to throw a music therapy session joined by Vinci and Alexa. So stay tuned until the end. I'm going to meet you guys back after taking a short song break. We have Alexa with I'm OK. And the next one is Horizon with Lucky.
Arirang Radio. It's time to tune in and discover the best of K-pop and Korean culture on Radio News. We're going to kick off the second half of the show and it's going to be filled with Final Pick, a music therapy session joined by our amazing regular guests, Alexa Ooh. and Vinci. So which one of y'all is Alexa? I don't know. Take a guess. I think uh, it's this girl. I think it's that pen. Yes. yes. So that means- OG flower pins. <laughs> this one's Vinci. Then. This is Alexa. Okay. Okay. Wow. <laughs> it just gets weirder and weirder every time we try to introduce ourselves. I mean, in case we're joined by a first time listeners yeah, who have no clue who they are, yeah. who are you, sir? I am Vinci. Yes. From and? Horizon. Yes. And Ooh. who are you, ma'am? I'm Alexa yeah. from Horizon. Oh, <laughs> just a kidding. co-ed group now. <laughs> Alexa from Alexa, yay. Okay, and it seems like you guys are in good mood today. Yeah. yeah. And we're both wearing white, oh. so we're bright. Okay. You got the denim on there. You got the denim on oh, here. Yeah. Where's oh, your you denim? denim Where's your here. white? Where's your denim? Yeah. I don't know. I heard you somewhere. The memo. You didn't get the memo. Oh, you didn't get the memo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, how's yes. life, everyone? Oh, life has been uh-huh, yeah? amazing. Okay. Because... Amazing how? <laughs> Explicate, please. Yeah, I think a lot of things have been brewing up lately, especially for our group. We're preparing some new things, so mm-hmm. they better be excited mm-hmm. and looking out forward for anything. Yeah. Okay. And, and, oh, I saw teasers. We oh, have a new upcoming really? thing. Another English song. Yes. Yes. yes she's going to speak in yes, English. Ma'am. I mean, sing. wait, so what's the song called? <laughs> uh, it's called Distraction. Distraction. And when's yeah. going to be released? I think the 28th. Uh, I the 28th. Is, the 28th. I yes, okay, I think that's correct. Oh, so <laughs> yes. what, What's the song about then? Uh, that's a great question. How do I summarize the song? Because I didn't write it, so hold on. Yeah. What is the song about? Distractions. Um, you can just go on with that explanation forever. It's basically. Yeah? About, you know, not rebounding, you know, protect your heart, know okay. your worth, and don't give too much of yourself to people who don't deserve it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So is there going to be a music video available for that yeah. one as well? Is it, like, connected to, like, the previous releases? No. Or is it, like, another new... It's just everything I've just been doing is just, is like, do, 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 mm-hmm. do, Nothing's, like... uh uh-huh, nothing. There's oh. no tag going. Uh-huh. Good luck yeah. with your new release. When yes. are you going to release an album, though? That's I mean, you've thing. been releasing some singles, but... <laughs> We've been supposed to be releasing all Things are going a little slowly. Okay. But don't <laughs> give up the hope, friends. There's an English album coming. Okay. When does the Korean one come? I don't know. Yeah. But... <laughs> anyway, I got a question to both of you. Yes. What did you two have for lunch or dinner today? Oh, <laughs> uh, I remember clearly mine. I think I had... Wait, what was it? Wait. Wait. Right. Wait. I Wait. forgot. No... That's natural because it's we're living busy life here, so. Uh. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, why did I forget? I was like, Boy, really? It was in my head. Wait, I, so while you recall what okay. you had for lunch today, okay. I'm going to give you some time to tell us yes. what you had. So I yeah. was in a little bit of a hurry because I was running to one of my friend's showcases and I didn't really oh. have a lot of time. Okay. So I ran to the Piani Jam, got myself a spam and kimchi. Kimbeps. Like the spam spam that we know of? Yeah. So the literal thing, spam? Spam. Well, not spam and kimchi. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, not just, oh, I would, okay. girl, I would not eat that. Just, oh, wow, delicious. No. <laughs> That's what I was asking you. <laughs> but never. Yeah. But then, uh, apparently, we had more time than I thought. And uh, uh, so, me and my omni went to go get some bulgogi. Oh, good uh, for you. Good for yeah. you. Now, do you remember what you have for your lunch? It was either chicken omurice or <gasps> what do you cheese? mean either chicken omurice or what <laughs> or cheese tonkatsu <laughs> yeah it's the favorite of the group we just eat cheese tonkatsu every time it's like standard, oh, yeah. standard. it's nothing new what did you guys do aside from eating man? i mean you went to your friend's showcase oh, and yes uh, i made matcha i guess you made yeah. matcha yeah it's well, like from the scratch thing? like this yeah. grind thing Oh, well, I didn't get the leaves myself, but I had powder? matcha powder. Yeah, and I have like the chasse and oh. the whole set. Okay. My friend gifted me some, so okay. I make my own matcha. Okay. Work. Yeah. Good for you. Good for you. Thank you so much. Anyway, when it comes to summer, a lot of food comes in mind. Yes. And uh, there are some representative food in Korea mm-hmm. that represents the season. Summer, for example, we had 
삼계탕, the chicken <gasps> soup, <gasps> or some other things like naengmyeon, cold yeah. noodle, yeah. or some other yeah. stuff. But what's your yeah. favorite food during summer? Uh, you said the two of my favorites. Yeah. Yeah. From your culture. Oh, perhaps. from our yeah. culture. Yeah. Oh, I think we call it dirty ice cream. Dirty. Ice cream? <laughs> yeah. Like, because how dirty is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's not <laughs> explicitly dirty. It's not necessarily <laughs> dirty. Yeah. It's just called dirty ice cream because it's sold in the streets, and the streets are <laughs> dirty. <laughs> I think it's quite a stereotypical minute. name it's given is because street <laughs> vendors, they're usually a lot more cleaner than yeah. the restaurants. I thought you meant dirty yeah. isn't like, you know, yeah. the way that a martini is dirty, yeah. but no, oh, you said like, yeah. oh no, the streets are dirty, so it's dirty. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what I know. That's why yeah. it's called oh. dirty ice cream, but it's not actually dirty. Yeah. It's just because it's sold in the streets. Okay. So it's like, oh, okay. What's, dirty. It, what's it taste like? It tastes like normal <laughs> ice cream. It, it really, yeah. and usually the flavors are cheese, okay. mango, Jeez. or... Taro. Ube. Ooh. Ube. Yeah. The violet thingies. Okay. Yeah. It's yummy. Okay. And you can either have it with bread. Yeah. Or cone. Yeah. Or a cup. With bread sounds good, actually. Yeah, yeah. it does. And it's sandwich. But if you have weak teeth, you're going to get brain freeze. Because mm. if you bite, the bread is deceptive. <laughs> It's a deceitful <laughs> type of thing. You bite and it's not cold. And then when you get to the middle, it's cold and you just oh, IQ okay. level go down. Okay. IQ level <laughs> <laughs> go brr. Go, go brr. Go what brr. about your favorite for, from your culture? Uh, yeah. From the wonderful from culture States, of America. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, America. Um, okay, so I personally am definitely just a fruits and vegetables girly. Like, oh. I love some fresh produce. Yeah. Like I will be eaten by the bowls by the heaps but a common memory from my childhood is like when we would have pool parties or something specifically those like red white and blue popsicles yeah. like there's a name from i'm not going to say the brand uh. name obviously but americans you will know god bless them the usa <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i've always been envious of your like milkshakes because mm -hmm. i think milkshakes are a big thing in america uh, right kind of it used to be a big thing though, right? Listen, there's a really yeah. good milkshake yeah. place out in Karosuke. Oh. <laughs> Is it the one with a shake in the name? Uh, No, it's the one with burger in the name. Oh. Mm. Well, I'll tell you during the next <laughs> song break. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, uh, before we move on, I need to cover this comment on YouTube that says, uh, DJ Sam, please tell Vinci, na shi, na sabihan si jiro na mag... Param dam nam mansia. What does this mean? This? It, it it basically says yeah. that my member Jiro is not active, yeah. so they're saying for him to be active oh. on like social media and okay. stuff. Okay. He's on the download, maybe. He's okay. trying to be low key. I thought it was gonna be something yeah. like I love you, Vince, or something like that. Oh, but no. it was a rather a personal <laughs> oh, question. Wow. That. Okay. There was al also someone who said, "Say Alexa, ang ganda mo." What does that mean? What does that mean? No, 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 yeah, Paul. Oh, wait. Me <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I don't know how to no, say no, thank no, you. No, 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 yeah, Paul. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. With that, shall we explain what this segment is all about for the yes. listeners, please? Final pick is where you guys, our listeners, send in your messages, and we choose a song that resonates with the message you sent in and in this type of time we enjoy some music therapy so come along and listen to music with us Yay. thank you so much all right Vinci, i believe you're gonna cover the first message yes this is from rona may hello rona may mm -hmm. the letter says good evening dj sam alexa and vinci by the way i'm rona my parents never pressured me, but I can hear their silent expectations. It's actually me who pressured myself because I know I can be better than this. I know my parents must be disappointed, but I hope they see how hard I try just to stay still and never give up while risking my physical and mental health. The truth is, I am barely holding it all together, mm -hmm. and I wonder all day if I could even survive a week without thinking about giving up and the way that life is unfair and cruel at the same time. Makes me think, where did I go wrong? Mm. <gasps> She's okay. in a very dark place. That's deep. Yeah, okay. and Aww. I think everyone mm. is also barely holding it all together. Right. So yeah. you're not alone you're not in alone that. Yeah, everyone alone. feels 
the same way, one way or another. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. don't feel alone mm -hmm. if ever you do feel, you know, down. Mm -hmm. Just find something that really sparks joy in you. Mm -hmm. And it could be actually anything, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some find joy in cleaning mm -hmm. or maybe doing some old things you used to do back mm -hmm. when you were young. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kind of things. Yeah. Any advice, Alexa? No, I mean, actually bouncing off what uh, Vinci just said about, you know, finding, you know, little things that make you happy. Mm -hmm. I've been kind of going through it lately. Mm -hmm. But every night before I go to bed, you know, I'll take time about 10 or 15 minutes, like when I'm laying down to listen to the songs I like, maybe watch some stupid videos mm -hmm. that I find entertaining, just something to get my mood in a better place before I close my eyes and call it a day, you know? Mm. So Okay, yeah. thank you so much. One more, if I may, I'd say you should go back to your day one, actually. Whatever work you're doing right now that's been putting a lot of pressure on yourself, you should go back to day one and try to figure out the reason why you fell in love with that thing for mm -hmm. the first time in your life. Mm. Or if it's not work-related stuff, well, I have no idea what I should give you advice-wise. Anyway, let us recommend sauce for this person, Rona May and uh, Vinci. Let me know yes. what you brought in today. I brought in Breathe, Handsome by Lihai Sun Benin. Oh. And it's a very comforting song. And yeah, it 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 made me go through some rough times. It was there mm -hmm. for me, this song. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think a lot feels that way as well. And I hope this song does the same for you. Mm -hmm. And what about you, Alexa? You had to pick the song that makes me cry. Yo. Dang it. Um, okay, I brought in the song Never Give Up by Bang and Zello, a.k.a. Bang Yongguk and Zello from BFP. Because... Oh. Never give up. And I miss BAP. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. With that, we are going to have a listen to these two songs. And you guys are free to come up with your own opinions about the previous message through YouTube live chat. And uh, we have Lehi with Hansum Breathe, uh, with, chosen by Vinci. And the next one is Pang yong and Zello with Never Give Up, featuring Heritage.
Wow. Wow, <laughs> yeah. I really like the way he ended the previous song. Yeah. What did he say? I'm outie. What? Something <laughs> yeah. like that, right? Someone and then someone was like, <laughs> And someone the runs going, oh. <laughs> and someone Mariah All right, anyway, the previous songs were Handsome Breed by uh, Yi Ha Yi, and the second one was Never Give Up featuring Heritage by Pang Yong Gook yeah, and yeah. Zello. And uh, during the first song, I was actually impressed to see you guys singing along to the yeah. entire song. Oh, that is one of my it's favorite songs. I did not know you guys were such a huge fan uh, of Yi Ha Yi. Yeah, we song. love Yi Can you guys I briefly her. sing the chorus part again if I. Uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. That was great. Anyway, before we move on to the second message, we are going to read a couple comments about the previous yes. message first off and then start from there. Do you want to read any? Um, <laughs> there are a lot of comforting messages for our yes. sender, Ron and May. So mm -hmm. I hope, Ron and May, you're here because a lot of people are rooting for you. Yes. Oh, Chari May says yep. to sender, if no one told you you are doing well, remember dreams don't have deadlines. In times like this, you really need a shoulder to lean on. So don't give up and find something that makes you happy. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Vinci? Yes. Oh, someone said just got done watching inside out 2 last week and joy was right this is what happens when you grow up you feel less joy Torona, your feelings are valid release that pressure and be strong oh my god i can so relate to that comment that you feel less joy as an adult yes yes yeah. yes i feel the decrease of the amount of joy that i feel <laughs> oh. as i age for some reason i don't know why is this happening but there are still some things that makes me happy for example eating something nice that could yeah. be a good option or hitting some nice place that you've never been before yeah. in your life and uh, maybe a couple more do you guys want to recommend any good things that you guys enjoy that sparks you guys up um uh watching sitcoms well that's a good one yeah, yeah especially the ones you've watched during mm -hmm. your childhood mm -hmm. those shows mm, brighten up a place mm. inside of me okay <laughs> <laughs> one of your favorite songs just turn it on and just sing along to it around your house yes. even dance around if you want to just let Ooh. loose you know yes. music is therapy to many people mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if you're a good singer or a good dancer yeah. just let it out and have fun okay what's your favorite song then oh well, i have too many um oh goodness gracious what's on the top of your mind uh, right now? my my house has recently become the holding place for the musical of chicago so oh. it's been a lot of that lately uh -huh. oh. Okay, thank you. What about you, Vinci? Headaches by Ravina oh. is a go-to release song. Okay, what kind of you song is it? Ah, uh, it's ve there's a very melodramatic trends mm -hmm. type of beat okay. in, by the end, mm -hmm. and it's just woo, mm -hmm. a release of all the tension you have. Mm -hmm. It's a great listen with okay. headphones. Okay. Well, to recommend you a song, I personally want to recommend a song by Pinjino with Ke, Break in English, I believe that is, and all because of its simple chorus line that goes Ke, 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 It's literally, literally the chorus part for this song. That's how simple it is. And it's extremely memorable. And the song is mainly about how to break down the negativity you have ah, inside you. So Ke, 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 Yeah, so just break, 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 break. Okay. <laughs> Very okay. simple one. And another yeah. one I would like to recommend is called Happy by Pharrell Williams. Oh, yeah. Do you know that Go song? to, yeah. Because yeah. I'm happy. 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 His producer tag is the smartest thing in the world. What is his producer tag? It's the tag? first four beats before any song he produces. I really? Dun, dun, dun. That's his? Any song he's produced, it's always the same four beats before the track starts. Wait, I did not notice that. He's the most producer tag ever. He Let had no say Rihanna as well, right? Uh, he's done a handful, right. yeah. I did not know. I just saw a tweet the other day that said, I was like, oh, I never knew. That's well, maybe I should listen to that song one more time yeah, then. Okay. Thank you so much. All right, with that, we are going to make our way into the second message. And this yeah. time, Alexa is going to read it. Let's go. Yeah, this comes from Camille Mendoza. Let's go. Hi, DJ Sam, Alexa, and Vinci. It's me again, your problematic listener. Who told Hi. you you're problematic? <laughs> Baby, no. This segment has been like therapy for me. Aww. That I really take it to heart and appreciate your suggestions and advice. My problem, it still comes from my past. The thing is, during the pandemic, oh, I'm, I'm guessing it's an ex. The thing yeah. is, during the pandemic, my ex borrowed some money. Oh. 
from me and my mom <gasps> to purchase some essentials. Before we officially broke up, I already brought it up to him that I needed the money back. But it's been almost two to three months and he still hasn't paid the remaining balance of his debt. Knowing that he is about to graduate, there were a lot of expenses. Should I wait till he graduates and gets a job or should I ask that he pays for it right now? I just don't want him to think that I'm using this debt as a way to still talk to him because frankly, I'm already happy and my heart is finally at peace about the situation. I just really need the money back. <laughs> yeah, we love that honesty, mm -hmm. though. Yeah, we mm -hmm. all need some money. <laughs> did any of your friends borrow money from you guys in the past? Yeah. Friends? Yeah. 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 Did you get the money back? Well, it's, yeah. not, it's not so much like they borrow, but, you know, it'll come in a conversation where they're like, oh, I don't know if I put gas in my card this week. I'm like, you know what? Let me get 50. Just pay me back your next paycheck. So. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Vinci? Yeah, just trivial stuff, like just mm -hmm. for food or stuff, mm -hmm. but yeah. nothing major like i'm gonna buy a new phone can you lend me money <laughs> yeah i don't even have uh, half of that yeah right. i felt i don't even mean to i none of my friends actually tried to borrow money from me. i mean there were a couple of times but i rejected mm. because those were the major ones a huge uh, amount of money mm -hmm. so no i don't want to affect our friendship so mm -hmm. you should be asking yes, someone yes, else yes. is what i told him mm -hmm. or her mm -hmm. so i guess we are like the worst people to ask yeah. this kind of question what? actually how would you get your money back in this situation? Uh, from an ex yeah. who's already been out of my life. I'm like, hey, buddy. Hey, friend. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hey, pal. Um, I don't want to have to talk to you more than I have to at this point, uh -huh. but you owe me money, and yeah. I would like that, or else I'm just going to keep bothering you, and neither yes. of us want that. Mm -hmm. so. yeah. And it's so cute that the sender was like, I don't want him to think that I'm trying to, you know, talk, talk to, to him. communicate mm -hmm. to him by... Get, getting the money back mm -hmm. that's so cute mm -hmm. and yeah i think hmm that's nice that you're trying to consider the fact that mm -hmm. he hasn't graduated yet uh -huh. and doesn't have a job mm -hmm. but you know you just it never hurts to ask again mm -hmm. exactly you, you should just ask again one more time uh -huh. and then if he says uh, let me get a job first, then okay. that'll happen. Or this may be a little too realistic, but adults, we have our own way of saying, I'm going to go tell my mommy <laughs> is to speak to your lawyer yeah. <laughs> if possible. <laughs> And it actually works sometimes in a serious situations. And I sometimes recommend that to a couple of friends of mine and they had some good results. So it should be working for you too. Mm -hmm. Anyway, with that, shall we recommend songs mm -hmm. for this person? Yeah. Alexa, you're going first. Uh, truth be told, uh, <laughs> I had already brought in money by Lisa a yeah. while ago. I didn't yeah. want to repeat that. And I was trying to think about songs about money. Can't really think of anything. So I just brought in a song by Itzy that I like look up. Because it's going to drive me crazy if you don't get your money back, right? Yeah. Like, eh. It hits still. Found a reason. Okay. What about you, Vinci? <laughs> well, the first line of ASAP by Stacy goes, oh. time is running, boy. Oh. So time is running, boy. You <laughs> need to pay <laughs> back ASAP, ASAP. Yeah. Get, okay. Give her the money back. Give Camille Mendoza her money back. Yay. Yeah. All right, with that, just like the previous message, you guys are free to send in your opinions about this one as well during the next song break. We're going to listen to Loco by Itzy, chosen by Alexa, and the next one is ASAP by Stacy, chosen by Vinci. Enjoy.
Welcome back. The previous songs were Loco by Itzy, and then second one was Asa by Stacy. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Before we move on to the third message, uh, shall we cover uh, some messages on YouTube live chat yeah. about the previous message? Uh, Racer cool. Love says, hey, Sender, go take your money. <laughs> I think it's more on the guy who should feel embarrassed for not paying his debt instead of you overthinking that he might see it as trying to get back together. Exactly. Get your money. Have a run of your money. Exactly. But how, though? But be like, hey, you owe me money. <laughs> Yeah, it's. Hmm? What if he literally have no money in his bank account though? Well, that's his well, problem, isn't it? Yeah, true. That's, that's true. his problem, it is isn't it? Problem. Vinci, any comment you want to read? <laughs> mm, Clinton says it is your right to demand that money. If it was really borrowed, then it's an unfulfilled obligation. Realistically, mm -hmm. this issue should be consulted to a legal counsel. True, if true. he's not really fulfilling it, Congrats. someone's mm. gonna file. Okay, maybe one more, Alexa. Um. Kobe Vlogs yeah. says it's hard to pursue if they have no intention of paying. Mm. Just collect what is owed because that is your right. But if they really refuse, just leave it to God. Uh. Yeah, karma. Listen. Uh, yeah, karma. Do you guys pay. believe in karma? Yes, and I've seen it happen. And God, is it sweet? Oh. <laughs> I like to believe in karma because it gives you satisfaction. It does. Because sometimes you just can't retaliate, you mm. know, and you just wait for things <laughs> wow. well you know not too much in ill intentions you know uh -huh. mm -hmm. just for things to mm -hmm. happen yeah whatever uh -huh. higher power you believe in trust me yes back, mm -hmm. so. <laughs> all right thank you so much for all your opinions and uh with that we're gonna move on to our third message sent in by lee <laughs> hello i'd like to talk about my friend who i've been friends with for 10 years oh. my friend is really negative whenever we meet after a long time they always talk about my shortcomings Okay. Why are you living like this? Don't you take care of yourself? You don't look healthy. Why? That's why people don't like you. Mama, what? These kind of things. <laughs> These are the kinds of things we talk about when we meet after a long time. I always try to only say positive things. So when I ask, to, when I ask him or her to only say good things, uh, they say, I'm saying this because I'm worried about you. They also enjoy speaking negatively about others. They say things like, that person's so weird, That's they're so greedy, etc. Um, there was a time when I went on a one-night, two-day trip with this friend, and I felt bad throughout the entire trip. So I made up my mind. I decided to meet that friend. Oh, mm, not to not meet to that me. friend anymore. If I hear a lot of negative things, I tend to feel bad all day long. I get heavily influenced by them. But sometimes I think, um, should I not meet a friend? Oh, 10 years over this. Uh, do you think I'm making the right decision? What would you do in my situation? I mean, <laughs> that's the thing. I mean, if y'all have been friends for 10 years, has this person always been yeah. like this? Because clearly there's some kind of external forces that are swaying this person to think the way they do, believe in the things that they do, you know, perceive the world as bleakly as mm -hmm. they do. Um I mean, it's fine to not meet them for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but distance, I mean, get a, get some distance. Distance maybe. is fine, but I don't just suddenly cut off because, especially if you guys have been friends for like a decade, all right? That's it's kind of a little odd. Like, even so, I love all my friends to mm -hmm. death, but even like we won't get in arguments, but sometimes I'll notice things. And I'm like, ah, I can't hang out with you for a week straight. Let mm -hmm. me just separate mm -hmm. for like three days and then we'll regroup. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I mean, just do what's healthy for you. But in my personal opinion, it could be this case actually. When we were young, let's say we go back in ten years mm -hmm. when we were still in our when you were in your early ten teenager. Yes. <laughs> and when I was in my days. early twenties, I tend to not care about other people's emotions. And then over time we tend to learn how to care about other people's emotions mm -hmm. yes. as we age, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh this person might finally got old enough to be aware of her own emotion that's why mm -hmm. she's raising awareness about this relationship in my personal opinion unlike alexa but what do you think vinci yeah i mean yeah bouncing out of that because they they're having an inside out moment <laughs> <laughs> they're getting into their feelings yeah and yeah when you have friends for this long time i don't think it's mm -hmm. an it's an a br uh, I don't think it's a good thing to just end it. But I do agree with Alexa with the distance. Mm -hmm. I think that's the more softer mm -hmm. approach to it. Mm -hmm. But I guess one more thing, because you have been friends for 10 years, you could mm -hmm. be blunt and mm -hmm. like confront her about this, mm -hmm. confront them about this and mm -hmm. ask like, why are you always so negative also about other people? Because mm -hmm. I think you've already asked like, why are they negative to you? And they're saying it's tough mm -hmm. love and all of mm -hmm. that. But 
yeah, I do get that in your friendships, you need to also preserve your own energy and you don't get mixed up by ev- like the other party's mm-hmm. um, bad energy. And if you get that mixed up with your whole mm-hmm. vibe, it's mm-hmm. just not the vibe. Yeah, mm-hmm. You know, you really need to have friends that make you feel good. Mm-hmm. And if this could be just for like a short time, then maybe they're having a phase and they're in their mm-hmm. grumpy era. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> m- maybe if we really talk to them about it and why they are the way they are mm-hmm. lately. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Honestly, or this person might be just jealous at what who what kind of person you become yeah, eventually. Be I'd say, right? Come to projection think of, yeah. is a big thing. Yeah, yeah right. It could be like yeah. I feel bad about myself, so I'm gonna make you feel bad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. True, More true, bad. true. For example, uh, when I was a kid, I used to be jealous of all the successful musicians. I'm mm-hmm. gonna be honest about it, and I used to talk on their back as well, despite the fact them being my long term friend when I was young. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, after that phase was gone, I was hearing the same thing from other people who were less successful than me as mm-hmm. a musician. Mm-hmm. And turns out, wow, those are the natural thing that's inevitable yeah. mm-hmm. of being a well comparatively successful person i'd say not a successful one but the thing is uh, well i'd say my final verdict is cut tie with this person mm. but um what's your final verdict Alexa? i mean yeah. if cutting ties is where this is going to end up mm-hmm. then yeah that might be the way out but mm-hmm. the thing is don't just go mia suddenly you know you got to mm-hmm. gradually because i mean it's Slowly not like, it's not like yeah. you hate this person but you want to distance yourself mm-hmm. from their energy so just yeah. Do that literally you thing. Don't, Distance. Okay. You don't link with that energy anymore, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And people people change, you know, believe it or not. Mm-hmm. They change and you as well change. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's justifiable if you don't really vibe mm-hmm. with their vibe mm-hmm. anymore. Mm-hmm. But still, you know, considering all of those years together as mm-hmm. friends, you know, it could be a short thing, mm-hmm. like for the short run. But mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. To her. Maybe a couple opinions from our listeners. First off, from Kobe Vlogs. Yeah. Talk to them, but if they're letting their pride get in the way, just distance yourself. It's hard to be around toxic people. You might become toxic yourself. Always think about what is good for yourself. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I saw this quote from one of the books written by one of those famous entrepreneurs who says good things on social media. I read that. I read those kinds of things a lot. So uh, it went something like... um, the average of the people you keep around yourself defines what kind of person you are. Mm. So always take care of your friend zone, true. I'd mm-hmm. say. I agree. True, surround true, 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 yourself true. with nice people only. Yeah. If you surround yourself with negativity, just like what Kobe just said, you're going to end up being a... I'm going to use this word anyway. You're going to end up being a loser yourself in the mm-hmm. end. And uh, any more? Advice? Yeah, I, I've seen yeah. Um, sentiments similar to that. Like... Yeah. If you surround yourself with successful people, mm-hmm. then you'll aim to be successful. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, it just goes naturally. So mm-hmm. magnetize the energy you want to yeah. put out. You know, <laughs> magnetize. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Gravitational pull, baby. Yeah. All right. Let me read one more comment and I'm going to recommend a song for this one. Uh, Ruku says, be a real friend and comfort them. Real friends will understand your side. Yeah. If it ends to cutting off your friendship, so be it. It's better to have a small circle of real friends. True, true, true. Thank you so much to all of you guys' opinions. And with that, I am going to recommend a song for this person, Lee, and call it a day. So today, I brought in a song called Poison. Huh. Tuk. Featuring mm. Essence of oh. Supreme Team by the producer named Primary. Ah, Primary. Such mm. a throwback song. It was back in the day. So this was released all after this huge this between uh, Essence and one of the legendary duo group from South Korea called Dynamic uh-huh. Duo. Ah. So he released this after he dissed them real hard. And uh, a lot of people still consider this track to be one of his representative track from Essence. And I really like it. And feels like this song name matches really well with the previous message yeah. so um i hope it hope this person lee enjoys it this is talk poison featuring essence uh produced by primary and uh we are gonna say goodbye together in three two one i'll be the same Bye. Bye.